Art Lane. Push it to Carantine. The fire, there's really only one thing on your mind. Survive. I ran faster than I ever ran in my life. And I was carrying 30 pounds of gear. Somehow your brain starts to rationalize. Just get down this road, Matt Baker. Just get down this road and you'll be going home. So once you, you stop running, you start to wonder. Will any of us actually return home? Alive? Come on, Revis! Look at me, buddy! Look at me! The drop wasn't far off! We gotta move! He's not even dead yet! Hang on! Obi! Stay out of it! Let's move! What are you doing? I'm saving your ass! This guy's bleeding out. Let's go. Alright, well that sucks. Nice maneuver on those guys, they're down. Alright, assault team's here, base fire team's over there on that wall. Actually, I'm gonna move them up here, see if they can get some. Quick, uh, get over there! Actually, you know what? Hurry up, get over there! Right here should be good. I'm on it! I'm in position! Push across here. Just trying to suppress him. Oh, I can see all the bullets. It's bullet casings, that's sweet. Oh, look at that spray of blood. Alright, I think we got these guys. And the thing about Brothers in Arms is you don't really... You do value your life because, I mean, for the most part, it's one hit and one kill. You do have very, very limited health. On easy, you do have some, but depending on where you get hit as well, it's a lot of times it's a one hit, one kill situation. Jeez. Oh. I don't know how I got hit. I was behind this mount here. from the sky. Right I don't know where that fire is coming from. It's like, sounds like our left side. Alright, base fire. Move up there. Let's 
Light him up. You can see all the covering fire that's going off. You can tell these guys are really, I mean, completely suppressed. Yeah, he tried making a run for it, and <laughs> so, I mean, I just love that. These guys fire and suppress the hell out of them. I mean, that's exactly how it should be done. That cloud of bullets and ricochets going all around that area. And nobody would want to move in this situation like that. Of course, you know, it's a game, so obviously he's going to move at a certain point. And he tried advancing and then he got shot. But it was just this in the complete area was just engulfed with with uh, suppress fire. So that's sweet. Haven't really seen that in any any other title. Very unique to this. Follow me! Follow me! Get moving! All right, so we're gonna meet up with the colonel here. We're still trying to push on to Karen, Karen Tan, and this is it. One squad. Well, shit. Today's as good a day to die as any. If we're gonna make it up this goddamn causeway alive, we're gonna have to lay suppressing fire on those crowds. There's a hell of a lot of Germans out there, and what I gather, they don't like us too much. Let's go. All right, let's do it, sir. All right, so this is all based on real events, and it was um, Colonel Cole, I believe. Uh, we're trying to get up the causeway. Move down. Time it up. Move, move, move. Jesus. Alright, base fire, move up to the next one. Go, go, go. You guys cover. You guys, keep moving up, go. Jeez, these guys are getting slaughtered. Alright, let's go, base fire. Alright. Yeah, so each team's bound, kind of covering each other as the other one's bound out. I'm getting. You could see a little bit of camera shake when uh, those rounds impacted close to me. You could see the the character flinch. That's really useful in kind of determining whether uh, rounds are hit close. A little bit of camera shake and a little bit of dirt on the uh, camera lens. I'm trying to kill that guy. Shoot that guy. I think we got him. You can hear all this fire gun off, and none of us are hitting this guy. I mean, this is extremely er accurate because he's he's behind some good cover, 
and these air weapons just weren't, you know, as accurate. It's not easy to shoot somebody, even with a modern AR-15. At even a hundred, you know, hundred meters, something like that. And when they're taking evasive maneuvers, you can see the guy's peeking his head out, and then he takes cover. Peeks out again, takes cover. So that whole fantasy of like, you know, get a bunch of kills. There we go. This whole, that whole kind of Rambo, you know, <laughs> commando myth where they're just mowing people down. I mean, that's just not accurate. The Call of Duty myth of, you know, just running out in the open and getting shot, that's not realistic. You can see that that guy, he was peeking out of cover, taking some pop shots, you know. Our, our fire isn't that accurate. We got adrenaline, you know, pumping in this combat film environment. Um these weapons aren't, you know, super accurate depending on your stance and everything like that. And it just really simulates the inaccuracy be in. of of combat. Now if you're in a prone position with a bipod and stuff and you got optics, you know, yeah, it's a different story maybe. But a situation like this has very very accurate representation. Alright, so we're gonna move up here to the bridge. And uh where's the colonel at? It's like a mortar fire now. They must have gotten around us and set up an MG on our flank. Sergeant, go take it out. All right. Alright, so we're past the causeway here. Let's just move up, boys. It's the only thing to do. Base fire and... Two machine gun nests. Alright, base fire or uh, assault team with me. Keep moving up to the uh, left flank here. Oh, jeez, I probably deserve that. I just love the sound effects in this. All right, base of fire. Suppress that thing. Not that they're really gonna be suppressed because they're behind sandbags. Jeez, that guy just got murdered. Alright, assault team. Let's make the push. Come on, keep moving up. Oh, again. Alright, so this is going to be kind of a hard push. You can see the machine gun tracers coming at us from, from that MG. I'll show you the MG nests here. There it is right there. And we got two guys on the right side here behind that dirt mound, pretty fortified. And we got some other guys to our right flank as well. So it's kind of a tough situation to take this gun out. We'll see what happens. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get both my teams to suppress this gun. Oh, 
Oh god. Alright. Alright, assault team. Charge up again. Pick that bazooka, finally get that MG. I got the gun. Oh, great. Counterattack from our rear. I think we got those guys. Alright, keep pushing up here. Move now! Get over here! Alright, base of fire. Bring We're assault in. team. I'll move him up on the left flank here. Oh man, that was incredibly intense combat. Taking out that machine gun was tough. Those uh, bazookas certainly helped. Uh, just eating through that fortified position. So, yeah, that was a tough, tough objective. J U87's inbound on the bridge here. 